All right, so let me get you guys up to speed on what's going on. Um, this is Saturday, me and uh, Max McKinley are um, fishing in a RCI Optics Invitational Tournament. So that means that we need to practice for that. Um, the tournament is a slam tournament, so it's the combination of your redfish, trout, and snook. The longest uh, like combo of all three. So like if you get three 30 inch fish, that would be a total of 90. So we've been uh, practicing during this week and uh, Monday we slammed out. We had about 50 inches, but I don't think that was good enough. I know Max doesn't think that's good enough. And um, I'm continuing to practice today. Yesterday we found some big snook. So uh, we definitely have some fish on the radar. And uh, right now my job today is to find big trout. So I'm gonna throw the paddle tail around. I'm gonna try to get a slam on my own, but main goal for today is to find some trout on artificial. Oh, and the tournament is only artificial. So that makes things a little bit different. But other than that, I'm gonna put a paddle tail on right now. And uh, I think we're gonna throw some docks, some mangroves, and uh, we're gonna try to find some fish. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so right now I actually just decided when I opened my tackle box to go with the uh, top water. So I'm just throwing a Yozuri Hydro Pencil right now in like a silver mullet color. And I think we'll go to the paddle tail later once the sun comes up. So main goal again is to just find some trout because I think that's the uh, fish we're going to struggle with the most. I think we got redfish and snook on lock. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get a pull a big trout out of here and uh, give us a little better confidence for the tournament. Stop like a little trout. Hooks are messed up. Using these inline hooks, I probably wouldn't use them if I'm targeting trout, but it's the only top water I have right now. Trout are kind of tough to hook. So treble hooks I probably should have used today, but oh well. Can't get it. I think they're little like 14 inch trout or so, but it, it's not a bad thing that they're not able to get it because we'll come back another day with the right lure and we'll be able to get these smaller trout. And this lure would be prime for, you know, 30 plus inches, but Oh my gosh. Well, at least I'm finding trout. Oh, there we go. There's a good trout. This is actually a good one. It's literally flying out of the water to hit it. Got him that time. I don't think it's a trout, I think it's a ladyfish. Or is it a trout? Oh, it is a trout, let's go. First fish of the day, not a bad one. It's a good sign. Not a bad one at all. I would take this on tournament day all day long. Let me get him in here. All day. All day long, I'll take this. He's freaking out. Calm down. Calm down. All day long, I'll take this trout. Good sign. All right, he's unhooked. Let's go ahead and just measure him. I guess he's about 18 inches. Let's see, zero. That's a 19 inch trout right there. I'll take that all day on tournament day. All day long on tournament day, I'll take that. So that's a good sign right there. We're finding some trout, nice 19 incher. And uh, go ahead and let him go. 
and uh, this top water is working. I probably just tournament day will elect to go with uh, treble hooks, but nice fish. Let's get let's let him go. I guess that works too. <laughs> All right, good fish raises my confidence level a lot. That's a good trout. Another one. Little guy, but good sign. Here I'm grunting. Ooh. All right, well, he threw it right there. He's only about a 14 inch or so, but I'd say that's the number two trout on the day. Realistically, in the tournament, we'll have a net, so any fish we get close to the boat, we'll be able to land pretty easily. That's a good fish. Get out, get out, get out. Nice red. That was sick. That was so cool. Oh, there's one with it too. Tighten up the drag a little bit. I knew that cast. I knew that cast was going to produce a fish there. Nice little backhand in like a one foot gap. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. That was, he hit hard, hard. Let's go. See if I can get him in the boat easy. I see one in lines in its top of his lip. Yeah, see in a tournament we'd have a net and we'd get him right here and we'd be done with this, but swing him in here. Oof. That is not a bad red at all. We'll just go ahead and put him on the ruler real quick so we get an idea. Alright, so he goes zero. Zero and twenty-three. About 23 and a half, so come here, buddy. All right, so 23 and a half inch red right there on the Yozuri Hydro Pencil. That was super cool. It's honestly close to the biggest red I've ever caught on top water, but go ahead and let him go. That's a great tournament fish there. So, really, on the uh, slam today, we just need a snook, and uh, I'm doing a good job. So, go ahead and let this guy go, and uh. There he goes. All right. So tournament practice is looking good right now. Let's see. I'm at a uh, hard math. All right. So right now, if this was a tournament, I'd also have Max with me, but I'm at 42 inches, which isn't bad. And now we really just need a snook. So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Hopefully I find a snook, but uh, you know, this is just practice. So, but not bad practice. I'm doing pretty good. Saw that, a little trout picked his head up. I think what I'm gonna have to do here is go to a paddle tail. I think it's just getting too hot. Oh, oh maybe not, dude. Hmm, what do I want here? We got DOA shrimp, we got a paddle tail, we got a voodoo mullet, and I could throw on a different paddle tail if I want to. I think, I think this is it, boys. I think we're gonna throw the voodoo mullet. Have some fun with it, let's go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tie that on. And go with a loop knot here. Literally the only knot I know how to tie. But it works, so if you're ever looking for a knot that'll hold all the time, check out the loop knot. Pretty easy to tie. I can tie it in like under 30, 20 seconds probably. 
right in there. Pull it tight. Hopefully I don't lose this on a big fish today like I did last time, but Voodoo Muller right there, it's a swim bait. It's one of the best, I think. It has the best action, really wiggles, and uh, yeah, catches fish. All right. Let's see if I can pick off one of those trout that were chilling here a second ago. Big snook, big snook on it. Two big snook were on it. Two big snook were fall tarpon right here to my left. Oh my gosh, there was just a tarpon. Dude, there's literally fish everywhere. Oh my god. Everywhere I just looked right there, there's floating fish. Oh my gosh. Look to my left. Two snook on the right following the uh voodoo mullet and then look to my left and there's a tarpon floating right there oh, there's a snook Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Let's go. That's what I was looking for. <sighs> okay. We got the snook. All right, so we got the slam on artificial. And I'd call this a good practice day so far. Got him on the voodoo mullet. All right. So let's go ahead and just measure them, just so we know. Let me get this out of them. All right, voodoo mullet, got it done. All right, so we got zero on the left. On the right, we got, I think we got, yeah, we can stretch them. We got 21. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just let them go here. We got the artificial slam. So there he goes. Okay. So we got 42 and a half between the redfish and the trout. And then with that 21 inch snook, that would be 63 and a half. I think I'm 63 and a half right now. So that's honestly 63 and a half in a tournament like this. It isn't enough to win it. I mean, last year we got second place in this tournament and we had 79.5, but it's a good starting point because to win the tournament, you got to get a little lucky. I'll be honest. You got to get a little lucky. So 63 and a half is not bad just for me being by myself without Max. All right, so I believe if I did my math right, we finished with uh, 63 and a half and just out here practicing, throwing top water, throwing the food and mullet. And I, I don't think that's that bad. It's not good enough to like win the tournament, but then again, I don't have Max here and uh, we have a few other spots that we plan to get a real big fish. So I know last year we got second place and we lost by a quarter of an inch. So I really want to win this year. And um, there's actually a lot of teams. Like last year, there was 90 teams. This year, there's probably going to be over 100. And um, tournament, I really want to win. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I think that's all I got for today, guys. And I will see you guys in that next video. See you.